looking for a healthy snack or something to serve with dinner. Fresh guacamole, I love it. That's a great option. I had the chance to go see our friend Nora Murphy and she showed me her favorite recipe for fresh guacamole. She and her husband Rick, they call Murph, take a look. Very excited today, I'm joined by Nora Murphy of NoraMurphyCountryHouse.com along with her husband Murph and we are making the perfect guacamole today. I'm so excited. It is so delicious. It's chunky, it's fresh. It really is a great summer recipe. And it's really not that hard, right Murph? It's easy as can be. We went to a restaurant in New York City, Rosa Mexicano, and it was some of the easiest uh, guacamole I've ever seen made at the table. Very simple ingredients. Take, okay. take a look here. We have the cilantro, freshly chopped, the uh, fresh onion, the jalapeno, and some wonderful great tomatoes from our little farm right here in Newtown Shorts uh, Garden. And, uh, and of course, we've got the lava bowl and the star of the show, the avocado. And if you need a lava bowl, I think you can go to Amazon and get a lava yes, bowl. Yes, you can. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, first things we're gonna do is we're gonna add just a touch of cilantro, a touch of onion, a little jalapeno, and a little salt. Okay. This is what they do in the restaurant. All right. And they're gonna use a wooden spoon and they're gonna release those flavors. You're just using the sides of the bowl to release the oils and the, and the flavors into the bowl. All right, so this is what that looks like, just so you get an idea. Beautiful, okay. You just wanna take a sharp hair and knife, go around the outside of the avocado. It'll open up very simply like that. A little trick to get out the, uh, the pit. It's, it's hard to dig it out with a spoon. Just simple tap it with a sharp knife. Oh, Oops. and the, it'll, and the pit just rolls it'll away. Roll, away. <laughs> roll out the pit. Okay. Take, it, take your sharp <laughs> knife. Uh, without going through all the way, because it would be easy to do, just gonna score, gonna it. score it one direction and another direction. Okay. Just very simple. And then scoop. And then scoop it out. Isn't that amazing? Wow, really good. Yep. Look, Nora's getting nervous because I got a, <laughs> I've got a knife in my hand, well, and I totally didn't do it right. Twist, twist, twist. <laughs> oh, you did. Okay. All right. It's a all right. Little... Well, you're you're almost I'm you're almost, almost there. there. There you go. You you did well. I did it. Okay. You want to scoop that out? Sure. There goes oh, another there pet. Another one. It's good luck, you know. Here it is, Murphy's. absolutely. Just keep <laughs> we always the, throw pits around. Just keep dropping the pets. Okay, we're going to start adding our, our uh, ingredients on top. I like to give it a little layer of salt at this point. I don't just have a little extra. Okay, you, you take care of that. All right. All right, and this is all about your preferences as well. If you just like a little cilantro, don't add too much. The onions. Personal preferences, if you don't want a lot of heat, that's fine. Cut back, especially on the rib part, the white rib part of the, the jalapenos. That's where a lot of the heat is. And we, we like it hotter. Yeah, we, <laughs> we, like, we like heat here. And plenty of, plenty of tomatoes. And now we're just gonna fold it in to, all together. Hang on, we need a new spoon, because I, I, I put my mouth on this one, so we can't <laughs> use that one. Perfect, thank you. All right, so we've got all the ingredients in there. It's just a matter of simply going from the bottom and folding it together and trying not to, you know, you'll lose a few pieces on the, over the sides occasionally, but you want to just give it a good, good mix. But you also want it chunky. You want to be able to taste the individual flavors of the vegetables as you're dipping in. For In this house, this is how we like it. About, Beautiful. Best level. All right, and now all that's left to do is eat it. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Dig in. All right. All right so I hope Scott the chip first. is sturdy enough. Wow, that's pretty generous. That's a pretty thing, generous Scott. portion. <laughs> I got a big mouth. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. really, really good. That was delicious. I thought it was going to be a little bit spicy. I was getting worried, but it's not. And you can always adjust. Not spicy enough, throw in a little more jalapeno. You it's cannot, so fresh. Mm. So fresh and so fragrant and so wonderful. Nora Murphy of NoraMurphyCountryHouse.com. Murph, 
the husband. You did a great job. Thank you so much. Thank you, Scott. For more inspirational ideas, where should we go? NoraMurphyCountryHouse.com. Mm, happy eating, everyone. Mm. Oh. oh, so hungry. <laughs> there is nothing like fresh guacamole. Nothing. Nothing. Chips and fresh guacamole. All right, be sure the to best. check out Nora's late summer e-magazine featuring some incredible tomato recipes. Yeah, yes. you, as she mentioned, you'll find it at NoraMurphyCountryHouse.com. You use a blender. Yeah, we use a little food processor, a little so one, and it's smooth. Guac. You can do it. It works out great.